Hey guys, it's Renee. So a few months back, I made this of white creamy nail polish color. I just customized it and show you how to make this, like what nail polishes I used for this. And I loved that like shade of off white, but I wanted to make it a hair darker, less of a whitish of white and more like a nude of white, if that makes sense. So yeah, I just basically wanted to change the shade of off white and that's what I'm doing today. And so here I just have the leftover of my off white. This cushio swept off your feet in sardine. I actually made a review of this in other nail polishes and the Cushio cuticle oil if you want to check those out and also I have the leftover of my uh, Sesh Clear base coat. Here I'm just showing you how much I added of that. I'm adding the Sesh Clear because this is going to be making the whole thing sheer and also it's going to be helping the formula, if you will, that I'm doing here dry a lot faster. And here I'm just showing you how smooth it goes. I'm using my clear press on nails, by the way. I do have the review for those if you want to check this out. Feel free to work with your natural nails if you prefer, but I'm going to be adding four coats, letting them dry in between coats, of course, which dry pretty fast on almost every nail except my ring finger and my thumbs, because for those I'm going to be using this craft glitter. This one is called Glitter Explosion. It's by Delta that I got years ago from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I always find glittery or sparkly nails, especially silver ones, a bit trickier because they can look a bit of like wrinkled aluminum foil during the daytime, but this one still will have that effect because of the glitter. You don't have to use the glitter that I'm using, you can use any glitter that you want as long as it's like shiny and has those like colorful sparkles. This is the one that I'm using because I love it. I love how shiny those glitters are, they are so much fun. So yeah, basically I'm working with like crafting uh, supplies for my nails, but that's why I I added two coats of my nail polish, even though I'm not working with natural nails, just protect your nails. But yeah, I'm also working with a brush that I got from like the craft store and I added two layers of like this glitter, more on the thicker side to be honest, because I didn't have the patience to add like four coats. But one thing that I know about this glitter explosion is that it dries super fast. That's why I love to work with this one as opposed to glitter nail polish, because those usually take forever to dry and this one doesn't have like an other to it. And Plus, I prefer the glitter of this ones. The second coat of like those glitters is just to uh, fill empty spaces of glitter, if that makes sense, because I want my thumb and my ring finger to be covered in glitter, especially for the for the shinier glitter, like the big ones, made sure that it wasn't like a pointy part in there. So with those big ones, just take your time and just arrange them, because if you place them with a pointy part, it's gonna dry like that, and it's gonna be much easier to just peel the whole thing. So this is what it looks like with those two for more of a minimalistic look. I think it looks nice and clean like this, but I wanted to add something else because I wanted to go all out or just go to town as people say. I don't know if people still say that. I do, but I'm gonna be adding a French tip of glitter. I'm doing the same thing with my brush, but just adding a stripe on the top of my nails. It's actually really easy. Now I'm gonna be adding the base coat as my top coat. By the way, I don't have a top coat at the moment, but this one worked really good for that. I added two coats. This is not a review because this is not the top coat, like the proper top coat. It adds a beautiful shine, dries super fast, and is like really protecting my nails against like water because after all I'm using like craft glitter that you can remove with water. If you protect your glitter, it's going to last a long time, even if you wash the dishes, you shower, and whatever. But yeah, these are the nails that I want to share with you. I honestly love them. They are so much fun to look at. I don't love to wear glitter during the daytime, but for the holidays or during summertime, if you're into clubbing, I think this is a manicure I would have really appreciated during my clubbing years for sure. At nighttime, they look amazing though. They really do sparkle. The camera never did them justice, to be honest. They sparkle a lot more than this, and you can really see all the colors that those glitters have. But yeah, hopefully I gave you ideas on how to use like chunky craft glitter for your nails, and I really hope you like this manicure. I love it. I'm obsessed with this. I just can't stop looking at my nails. I think they look so much fun, even though I don't really love my hands. But yeah, hopefully you liked it as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more nail care that I have on my channel, subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later and take care, bye!